The exposome is a term used to describe the sum of all the exposures a person experiences in their life and consider how those exposures affect our health. By exposures, we mean things like the air we breathe, the foods we eat, the environment we live in, interactions with family and peers, even the sounds we hear. Resource-poor areas are often more exposed to extrinsic factors with negative impacts on health. Examples include food insecurity, inadequate housing, crime, discrimination, and income poverty. Plus, environmental exposures like air and noise pollution and chemicals from industrial or agricultural sources. These extrinsic social and environmental variables can have a significant influence on child development with lasting effects. That's because our early life experiences and exposures get under the skin. They become embedded in our biology. For example, children who experience social vulnerabilities such as poverty or food insecurity may show increased stress hormone responses which can have lasting and complex effects on health. Technological developments allow us to conduct research that measures the intrinsic response to extrinsic variables, providing data that can be used to create interventions and introduce policies that mitigate vulnerabilities and exposures. One example is the UBC Baby Teeth Study by UBC's Social Exposome Cluster. The study uses baby teeth to understand the impacts of early life environments, experiences, and exposures, such as lead. Teeth begin to form prenatally during the second trimester. As fetuses develop, two of the primary components of teeth, dentin and enamel, are deposited, trapping substances present in the body and blood at that time. When baby teeth fall out, they can provide a record of what the child has been exposed to. For example, data analysis can determine the levels of stress hormones and heavy metals present. The Social Exposome Research Cluster is focused on understanding how social factors such as poverty, family influences, and food insecurity impact health and well-being across the life course. Our long-term goal is to develop and inform interventions and policies that reduce disparities and optimize the health and well-being of all people in Canada and abroad.